Shadow Grave is a black comedy released in 1994, directed by Danny Boyle. Yeah, the story focuses on three flatmates uh, who are looking for well, another flatmate. There's a comedic scene where they interview a few and they eventually settle on a character played by Keith Allen. Uh, so they welcome him in and then suddenly they find him dead in his room. They do. And in his room they also find a big bag of money. They do. Which yes. uh, they then have a moral conundrum of do they report it to the police or do they keep the money and dispose of the body? And it wouldn't be much of a film if they did the former. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they cut off his body and keep the dosh. Um, but unsurprisingly, you know, he... Keith Allen's character was a bit of a, well, I don't know if we ever find out what he is, do we? But no. um, he was in with some dodgy people who, unsurprisingly, want their money back. So, they do. Um, yes, and this newfound wealth uh, starts to change them slightly. Um, from slightly? Like, yeah, <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> yes. Yes. With unpleasant results. It does. Actually. No, you're right. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is well. This is Danny Boyle's first film. It is, yeah. Of course, everyone knows Danny Boyle because his well, his most famous film, was, I guess, is Train Spotting. But he's obviously gone on to do many other films. And cleaned up at the Oscars with Slumdog Millionaire. He did, and, yeah. And he's now been he's tipped to do. I think he's doing. We've signed a new on bond. for the next Bond film. Yeah, yeah he yeah. is exactly. And um, so that will be quite exciting. But so this is his very first film. I think he'd actually. I think he'd done a bit of producing before. I've seen his name crop up on a couple of films mm. in the past before Shadow Grave. But no, this was his first one, and it's it's really good. I, I, I this is actually my favourite Danny Boyle film, which I know a lot of people would probably say Train Spotting would mm. be their first. I do like Train Spotting, but I, I'm, I'm a big fan of black comedy, uh, specifically black comedy of the really kind of macabre, yeah, black comedy. And this is <laughs> this is as black. Well, there are blacker films, so this is pretty. This is pretty. It gets black. pretty dark. It gets it? pretty yeah. dark, and it's also got a really great cast. Mm-hmm. So, of course, you have got Ewan McGregor, who was also in Train Spotting. Uh, Kerry Fox, who was a New Zealand actor, mostly famous for uh, An Angel at My Table, which is a really good New Zealand film. And then Christopher Eccleston, who most of you, well, Doctor Who. He was in Doctor Who for a while. He was yeah. Doctor Who. Well, my favourite Doctor Who, because I don't like Doctor Who. Was he? <laughs> uh, Christopher Eccleston's like, he's my favourite British TV mm. actor. I think he's, he's just, he's one of those actors you can hear every single word he says, yeah. because he's like a proper... Stage actor. Um, he was in Our Friends in the North. Wasn't he was he? Our Friends in the North. And recently, TV show. Uh, you know, on the Leftovers, the TV show, which you probably haven't seen. Have you? I haven't no, seen it. It's no. worth watching. He was, I think, he was in Twenty Eight Days Later that Danny Ball did. He was the sergeant at the end. Uh, yes, yes, he was. Soldier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a very sadistic character. Very sadistic. <laughs> yeah. So there's lots of kind of Danny Ball links in here. You've also got Peter Mullen, who is an amazing Scottish actor. He plays one of the heavies that kind mm. of turns up later on. And yeah, Keith Allen, of course, too, yep. who's done lots of you know both documentaries and, and TV work over the years. So a really great cast, a very small cast. Um, I think they all do it really well. Mm. I mean, I, I yes, it is kind of you know what would you do if you found a million pounds or whatever, however much it is, what would you do? Would you hand it in? Uh, Having watched this, I think I'd probably <laughs> hand it in. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't tell anyone or share it with anyone. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'd hide it and wait to see if anyone was going to come look looking for it. That's, um, that's, that's a good idea. Oh no! Oh, no, I mean, what obviously I would do is hand it in. Obviously, obviously, yeah, obviously we would hand <laughs> we would hand it in. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so it is one of those films, and it's kind of a it's a it's a plot device that's been used many times mm. before. But I think they I think Danny Ball does it, it, it really interestingly. I I mean I like I like his stuff because I think I kind of think Danny Ball did to. British film, what Tarantino did in some way to America. Kind film. of, yeah, yeah. They both came out of that that, that mm. similar period. Um, well, it sort of, you know, it was in mid nineties when you know Britpop was at its high, and it was like cool Britannia, and <laughs> yeah. you know Shallow Grave and Trains fit right into that. Um, so yeah, you know, British cinema suddenly was very cool again, wasn't it? It and was. I mean, it's got the. the I mean, I I always loved the opening. The op- so the opening to this film features left field, mm. and it's got a really quite you know fast. Intro, obviously you have a little bit of a narration by Christopher Eccleston and then you have that kind of, that, that well obviously in the mid-90s in this country, um, yes you're right, Britpop was very big but also the whole rave scene was very big as well, mm. which is not, I was not personally into that but the music's pretty good and it fits well for this film I think um, and of course that's what Trainspotting, huge kind of British yeah. soundtrack. No, I think it's, I think it's really good, I mm. love all the characters, they're all a bit mis- mischievous Young twenty somethings, 
a little bit naive maybe to the mm. to the real world. They're also a bit um unlikable to be honest aren't they you know when they when they're when they're interviewing the you know the the other flat potential flatmates they're quite yes, cruel yes they are quite cruel to some yeah. of them. i mean ewan mcgregor's his character i mean he he and carrie fox are almost because she's a doctor mm. so you'd expect her to be quite nice but you know you're right i think they're all naive and 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 yeah not very nice narcissistic to, and, a bit narcissistic yeah. definitely yeah definitely that going on um but it's it's great there's lots of you know there's some very funny sight gag yep. moments in there um there is some quite dark stuff going on and some a bit of violence a little bit of violence quite yeah <laughs> there's some violence in there and some hacking uh, of limbs it's a very british i mean because i think that's what's good about britain and black comedy we, we can be quite violent mm. um and kind of get away with it but not in an overly gruesome or overly violent way no, i mean no. we do do that kind of comic violence really well i mean go back you know to the days of the young ones and things mm. like that we've always done Comic violence, I think, and, and black comedy, uh, well, with the, the country of Shakespeare. So, obviously, Absolutely. we get to do things like that rather well over here. But, no, this is this is really good. And if you haven't seen it, then you may not have seen it. I think probably most people have seen Train Spotting. Yep. But uh, may have skipped over this one. I recommend you do. You can actually see it because, well, I, I have it on DVD somewhere. Yeah, I've got the Blu-ray. It's not, you know, it's not hard to pick up. The version you probably want to go for, if you can, is the Criterion one which so far has only been released in the US. Um, so obviously, if you're in the UK and you can't play Region A, then there's no point. Um, it's a little bit expensive. I haven't taken the plunge yet, but I hope to one day. Um, but yeah, it's really good. You know, it's got, they've cleaned up the picture and it's got loads of extras, as, you know, as is the norm for a criterion. So if, if you are in the US, you know, that, that would be the version. surprising they haven't done it in their UK releases. Well, because... I don't I mean, it's all complicated with rights and things. Oh, it's a true. Channel 4 film, isn't it? So oh, I, guess, it I guess the rights still sit with them for now. So um, whether we'll ever true. see it, who knows? But um, that's the one to go for if you can, if you can watch it. Great. Uh, well, that was Shallow Grave. And we hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you enjoy the film. And if you do, then, you know, Come and leave us a comment, or if you have the Criterion, because none of us have the no. Criterion, be quite interested to uh, see what you think of it. Is it worth us picking it up, yep. spending all that money? <laughs> uh, see if we found a million. Well, yes, just I buy would the go entire and, yeah. Criterion collection, <laughs> and we wouldn't have to worry. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out some of our other videos. Some yeah, do that. Coming up. Yeah, uh, we're on Twitter and Facebook, so we look are. us up on there. Indeed. Interact with us, and yeah, come back again next week for another one.